the oracle null if function. The null if function compares two values to see if they match. If the two values match, the function returns null. If they don't match, the function will return the first value that you provide. The syntax of this function has two parameters, and both are the values to use for comparison, expression 1 and expression 2. You can find out more about this function by clicking the link in the description, but for now we'll look at some examples. The first example here uses null if on two values of 23 and 23. It's returned null because those values are both equal. But what if we provide 23 and 29? The values are not equal, so it's returned 23, which is the first value. What if we put in decimal places here, where the values are actually the same and both equal to 23? You can see Oracle has worked it out and knows that they are equal. With string values here, we can also run the null if function. The null if function works out that these values are the same and returns a null value. The null if function can be run on strings that don't match, and it will return the first value. Null if can be run on values where one value is inside a string and another value is the same but it's a number version of that value. You can see that an error has been found. Inconsistent data types, expected char got number. This means that the data types of both values are different, even though the value might look the same. This example here runs on a date value. It checks if sysdate is equal to someday. We get a similar error. This is because the first parameter is a date type and the second is a char type. What if we specify null? We'll get a similar error again, because the first value is null and the second is a text value. What if we swap them around and put null as a second parameter? This is allowed because the data type is actually checked on the first value. It checks that these values are not equal and then returns a value of Sunday. 